Part two. There we go. Um, okay, so, yeah, stupid question of the year here. Um, if the last pogo is Punk's last waltz, what's the relevancy of last pogo jumps again 35 years later? That's like the stupidest fucking question. Thank ever. you very much. Thank you. Um, you know what it was? It was really trying to uh, put a spotlight on uh, a period of Toronto's cultural history that when we started the project wasn't very exposed. And I think it was, I think those years, 1976 was really formative in Toronto changing from a small town to a big city. And we wanted to document it and just get it out there. And so we spent six years and we we would keep um, finding new material and, and new people. And we, we sort of continued down this little rabbit hole, you know, would lead on to other things. And then we finally said, you know, that's it, we're gonna walk away from this. Like, we're, we're kind of done. <laughs> so it's, uh, you know, just trying to bring some attention to a, um, uh, an, an underappreciated and misunderstood piece of Toronto's musical history. So we've got South by Southwest and the mayor and everybody's all interested in all that and, and uh, they're trying to bring the North by Northeast people um, into that, that $1.6 billion zone that they're making down in Austin, Texas and Toronto's not there. I mean, we're we're different. Is it too diluted here? What's what's the difference? Why well, why are they doing that? You know, Toronto's still you know a, as great a city as it is. I think there still is a major stick up its ass about about like you know I think they play play pretty fast and loose in Austin. It's kind of it's not a small town, but uh, you know like the the saying for that town is like keep Austin weird. I couldn't imagine. I'd love to lay that handle on Toronto, but yeah. with the way the city is governed the kind of people that are running the city now, it's, you know, I I can't see that happening. Well, this used to be the hot spot, but now it's Queen West West that's hot, and Queen West isn't, is all, like, you know, the gap. And Yeah, well, yeah, that's, I mean, that's when it started going downhill, in my opinion, was when, was when, uh, not the gap, it was when, Le Chateau, uh, I Le think. Chateau opened, yeah. it was like, okay, this is, this is over now, yeah. you know, because in 76, when, the Gary's first moved in here. Like, this was a dive bar yeah. with a great history. But, you know, the streets were empty, right? Like, you wouldn't see a person on the street. You know, and there's, like, here in the Black Bull and, and the Beverly Tavern. And then, you know, not far from here was the Crash and Burn. And, you know, slowly the city started changing. And, and these so-called punks and people like the Gary's and other artists kind of started showing a different Toronto. So, what bands should we be watching out for now? You should only watch out for the bands that were in the last Pogo Jumps again at the Big City Big Picture Cinema at 1035 Joy Street East on November 1st. November 1st at 7 o'clock. 7.30. 7.30. Well, be there at 7 so you get a ticket. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, 